Welcome to the Moody View. This is Martin Moody and this edition comes to you from Sri Lanka. And I'm walking down through the Travel Retail Village, a community that was funded entirely by the travel retail industry shortly after the tragic Boxing Day tsunami that devastated so much of Sri Lanka in 2004. And this village, called the Travel Retail Village, houses the entire community of Paliwata that was washed away, all the houses were lost, lives were lost, and the remaining villages were rehoused in the most beautiful of places. We're just looking at a house there. Look at that lovely house. It bears the name of Dubai Duty Free. So all the 20 houses in this village carry the name of an individual donor. And it's a very poignant place to be. Last time I saw it at the opening, these lovely houses were just shells. People hadn't moved into them. Five years on, there's a real sense of community here and normality. You can see the washing on the lines. You can hear the sound of the children laughing and playing, the dogs barking in the background. I'll take you right up to this doorstep. For obvious reasons, this was a house funded by the Moody Report. And I've just been talking to this lovely lady here who owns this house and is very, very proud of it. And there's her husband come out to say hello as well. So we were having a nice chat a moment ago. And we'll just walk down through the village now. You'll note the beautiful gardens. Just look at these lovely scenes. That house there, funded by Raven Fox, publishers of DFNI, about to celebrate their 25th anniversary, I believe, and isn't that a nice testament to their work? That house there, funded by Acetil, the South American Duty Free Association. Now, this project, the Travel Retail Village, at the time, there had been nothing like it in the travel retail industry. It was an industry-wide fundraising phenomenon. And look what it's done. What a legacy to this industry's generosity. That house there called Irish Spirit. Isn't that nice? Look at the beautiful children in the photo. And all these children are growing up in a lovely, safe community. Such a far cry from the terror and horror of that Boxing Day disaster all those years ago. There's a house funded by John Cameraman. John Cameraman, formerly of Imperial Tobacco. Well, still with the group, but of Imperial Tobacco duty-free in those days. Just pan around to the right and there you'll see the well, or the water supply I should say. The, the, they have a well here in the village, just uh, around to my left which provides all the safe drinking water for the community. These beautiful flowers in full bloom. It's a very tranquil day here and just, I think, it's a wonderful sense of normality. That house there bears the name of Centaur. Centaur is the company of Rakita Jaya Wardener, who along with Paul Topping, who was then with Alpha and is now an independent businessman, in Colombo, Rakita and Paul were the two driving forces behind this extraordinary project and what great work they did. Beautiful garden again, just as we close out, funded by Diageo, always very much to the fore on projects of corporate social responsibility. TFWA's house and we'll just walk you up the centre here and show you a couple of final things swinging to my left that's the house funded by King Power Group of Hong Kong and the gentleman there in the black shirt is Chrysantha and he's the head of this village he also did an amazing job 
in bringing this community together and relocating them. A wonderful man. So we're going in to take tea in his lovely house in a moment, but I want to close out just very quickly with a couple of rather poignant signs. I remember being here on inauguration day when this stone was unveiled, but there it is, the Alpha Tsunami Trust Fund, the Travel Retail Village, opened by Rakita Jayawardner and Paul Topping on behalf of the global travel retail industry, 16th of March 2006. So the tsunami was Boxing Day 2004. Pretty impressive that the industry moved with this speed to create this fantastic project. And we'll just close out with some special buildings that were added after the original houses. To my left is the Linda Hopkins Memorial Community Hall. I'll take you right up to the sign. And this is the Travel Retail Village office. Linda Hopkins was director of conferences at TFWA, before that a fellow publisher and journalist in the duty-free industry and much loved by those who knew her. She died tragically young. And there's her memorial plaque. And then if we just move through to the left, you'll see the Dubai Duty Free Medical Center. Dubai Duty Free funded a house and also a medical center here. So there we are. As I said, a wonderful testament to the spirit, the collective generosity, the heart of the travel retail community. This is Martin Moody signing off from the travel retail village about 60 kilometers south of Colombo in Sri Lanka.